sense of God is influenced by our earthly fathers. We talked about father wounds a minute ago and how it contributes to these disorders. How many social and family crises are due to a crisis of fatherhood? And now, let us consider St. Joseph. I want to end on this note. St. Joseph is the most powerful father example and intercessor that has ever lived. He will aid us to be good and holy men and fathers to protect and to raise our families. Because think about it. God the Father chose Joseph to protect God the Son and his virgin mother. Because remember, when Gabriel came to Mary, she was already betrothed to Joseph. And in reality, God chose both Mary and Joseph together. Joseph was chosen to be the earthly model of fatherhood to God's divine son. Now that is saying something. If God could trust him, so can we. And here's the other interesting thing. I don't think it's accidental. Joseph has been hidden for centuries, like some kind of a spiritual secret weapon, saved for the ultimate battle at the end of our age. Remember Fatima. Joseph was finally placed in the litany of saints in 1726. Why did it take the church so long? <laughs> 1,700 years. He's finally making it into the litany of saints. He became the patron of the Universal Church in 1870. And finally, in 1962, was inserted ahead of all other saints right after Our Lady in the first Eucharistic prayer. Now, you've got to be someone to get into the first Eucharistic prayer. <laughs> that had not been changed for a thousand years. And now, literally, in the last ten years, my brother priest can confirm this, St. Joseph is referenced in the other three Eucharistic prayers penciled in the margins of the 2011 Missal. That's how recent the raps have been pulling, pulled off of St. Joseph. He's the man of our time. So let us pray through the patron and protector of our church, our archdiocese, and our families, if you'll join me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh God, you chose St. Jo Joseph as the protector of your only begotten Son, Jesus, and the chaste spouse of our Blessed Mother, Mary. We ask his prayers and powerful assistance in our spiritual battles to defend the truth and the faith of our families. You who reign forever and ever. Amen. St. Joseph, chaste guardian of the Virgin Mother of God, pray for us. St. Joseph, virginal foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. St. Joseph, head of the Holy Family, pray for us. St. Joseph, protector of Holy Church, pray for us. St. Joseph, pillar of families, pray for us. St. Joseph, terror of demons, pray for us. Amen, and God bless you and guide you and strengthen you all. Amen.